What's up everyone? It's Court from Wintervale Model Horses. Today we're doing a collection video. Very exciting. Um, I have a small collection. Hopefully it'll be a short little video. Um, so without further ado, here we go. I'm just going to set my coffee down right there. Alright, so here we are. Um, we're going to start on this end and then we're going to kind of make our way over there. Um, so over here, this is my Briarfest um, Dark Horse Surprise. His name is Surfing Pikachu. He is the Palomino Splash. Um, I actually traded to get him. I originally had the Appy and I wanted him and someone else wanted the Appy so it worked out really well. Um, this is all my junk, all my Halloween stuff. I'm really excited. It's September 16th and I'm already ready for Halloween. Um, over here we have my Bollywood Surprise. I found this horse for a steal. I was so excited to have him. Um, his name is Kate Shee. Next is my Ipcabad Crane. His name is, um, I call him Bones. He is, um... I actually didn't get him at Briarfest. I got him like a month later. Um, I just actually got him in August. He's beautiful and I love him and I was so happy to have him. There's a whole story that goes with that. Um, I can tell that story later. Um, but he's beautiful and stunning and I love him. So these are like my three mostest favorite ones. Um, so they get to live up on my dresser. And then over here, that's my clothes, sorry. Um, in the window, this is gonna be hardly exposed, but um, this is a custom I'm working on. He is going to be a dark bay with a lot of like light bay um, ticking and sun bleaching, and I'm really excited to um, do him because I, I was originally gonna show him in October, but I'm not actually gonna be around for the show in October, so now I'm just gonna keep him. Um, and then we have my mini Sham Conga. Um, I've got both of these at Briarfest. Um, really excited about them. Um, this is What a Tide, and this is Rana, I think. Just kidding, flip those. This one is Rana, and this one is What a Tide. Um, Cause he looks like a surfer, I don't know why. Um, and then over here, this is like the main portion of my collection. Um, so this is a custom on um, Othello. His name is Oberon Snow um, because he's, here I'll take him out, because he's beautiful and snowy. Um, yeah, he's really, really lovely. Um, next we have Blue Prince. He is also, oh yeah, um, uh, Snowy was done by Divine Justice Studios. They're on Instagram. Um, this is Blue Prince. He was done by Long Custom Studios. Um, he's on the Nakota mold. He was the first, um, custom I ever bought. And then we have my mini minis. Um, I forget this one's name, but I got Emerald. I literally, the first package of mini minis I ever got, oh, stand up, yeah. I got Emerald, I was so excited. Um, she's so freaking cute. Look, just look at her. Isn't she adorable? I mean, how can you not, I don't know. She's just, she's so freaking cute, okay. And then I have a tack box. This is a tack box from when I was a kid. I have had this tack box for probably like 15 years. Inside it, there are some stickers and a, um, a tack or a grooming kit that I'm gonna fill up with grooming stuff one day. Um, I'm preparing to have a barn. It is kind of why I have all the mini winnies and why I have the stuff in here and I have a whole box down there um, underneath the giveaway horses that is like I'm slowly filling with stuff so that I can all right these guys are not gonna sit up yay okay um, next we have um, 
this um, pony on the half layer mold. Um, her name is Sylvain. Um, I really, I just like her a lot. I originally bought her to customize. I bought her and I bought that, that Morgan thing um, at the same time. But, I mean, she's too cute. You can't. I love her. So, I'm keeping her that way. Um, I have my um, Strawberry Fizz and Seminole. What? This is Buckshot. Okay, right. Um, I really like the Buckshot molds. Um, I know they don't stand up, which is why their faces are leaning into the wall like that. Um, so I'm going to get like a stand for them because I really like this mold. I really would love to conga it. It's just very tippy. Um, over here we have my glossy Gillen, or Gillen, um, Gigi Valentine Heartbreaker. Well, it's Gillen mold. But um, I am so happy. I love this mold. This is another conga um, in the making. Um, I conga everything. If, I don't know if you know. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I want to conga that, I want to conga that. And then next to her is her twin sister, Chesapeake. Um, Chesapeake is a whole other story. I got her in like March. And I only just received her in August um, because she was out for repairs. It was probably actually June when I bought her because um, it was right before Briarfest. Um, so it's, it's, it's not like anyone's fault that it took that long. It just was, uh, the circumstances and the timing and everything was silly. Um, next to her we have Harley D. Zip. Um, again, another conga in the making him and the Bollywood Surprise Cat C over there. Um, I freaking love the Latigo mold. And then next to him we have my newest horse, which is, um, Don't Look Twice. Haven't given her a show name yet, or a, a barn name yet. I'm still thinking of um, ways, but I, I showed her more in depth on my unboxing video, but she's so pretty. This is like the Bay Chestnut Corner. Um, everything over here is some vague shade of Bay or Chestnut. Um, it, well, Bay is my favorite color on a horse, so. Um, so we'll go up here first. Up here is my little like shrine to my childhood um both of these are horses that i originally had new in the box when they first came out um uh oh what is his name danaway tango um i got him uh, he was on the late side um you'll notice that he doesn't have his mouth cut open which means that i was a lot older when I got him. Um, and then up here we have the black tie affair mare in full or stallion in full um, because they also came with a Zippo pine bar with the same sort of coloring. Um, but I don't have him. This animal was played with because I don't know if you can see his mouth is cut open. Um, I have a little like hacksaw and I would cut their mouths open to put bits in their mouths because I didn't know that you were supposed to put like sticky wax and put it on there. So those are those guys. Um, I don't I don't know if I'll end up keeping them. Um, I have I may have some other molds um, at like my grandmother's house somewhere in storage. Um, and if I do, I'll just be keeping some of those that I like the best, just because, um, he is a shelf hog, he's humongous, like, like, he's huge, this is him in hand, he's massive, he's bigger than anything else, I think he's bigger than Othello, um, which is saying something, because Othello's a huge mold, but he's just, he's huge, um, and, I don't know. I think he could go to someone who appreciates him a little bit more. He's in really good condition. I really, I don't know. He's nice. Um, and then those guys, the, the Amber will always stay with me because she's freaking adorable, but the strapless um, may not end up staying with me. Okay, and then up here we 
have my um, my little group of stable mates. So on the top we've got the unicorns. Um, and then this is the gray pony from the Walmart surprise bags. Um, I really like him, so I just got him. Back there is a Vallegro. And then this is my custom stable mate. Um, her name is Winterfrost. She is freaking adorable. I love the Highland Pony Mold. There's another mold that I would love to conga. Um, it's so cute. I I just, I can't say enough things about it. Um, next is my Ruffian. Um, I would um, do anything for this horse. I love her so much. She's so beautiful. Um, she's the whole reason I went to Briarfest actually in 2018. Um, she's like was the driving force that got me to Briarfest, so I'm so thankful that I got her. Um, and she's, I mean, she's always gonna live with me forever. Um, next, so this is a custom that I did probably six or seven years ago. Um, she, I did her when I was still living in my family's house, and I was really into the My Little Ponies. Um, she has some flaws, as you can see. Her legs don't blend at all. Um, but she's also got some really nice parts, like the little stippling next to her eye and her tiny little star. So, I don't know. I, I like her a lot. I'm gonna keep her and not even change her. She's sentimental. Um, you know, she was like the first custom horse that I ever did. Um, so, I like her. You know, she's got the big chip right there. And then this is a, oh, please don't fall. Um, another on that mold, because I like the caring warm blood mold. Um, he is from, he's actually the same exact horse as the big boy horse. I got two because I wanted one for myself. So that's him. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I don't think I have anyone else around. Yep, okay. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you liked seeing my collection. I know it's small right now and it's kind of spread out. Um, I am eventually going to get a shelf, but it's probably going to wait until after I move. So right now they're just kind of spread out and they just keep piling up on this desk. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my video. I hope you enjoyed seeing everybody. They all say bye. Say bye, Serving Pikachu. Well, that was super fun, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I liked doing it, so I'm probably gonna do it again. I mean, not like next week. I'll probably do it again in like a couple months after I accumulate more plastic horses. Um, so if you guys liked it, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. Comment, subscribe, do whatever you want. Um, I will see you guys next time. Oh, and there's links to my Instagram and my blog below. Check that out. It's super fun. I'm always posting on Instagram. I have a giveaway going on right now. Um, so you guys can join that for some stable meets. They're really cute. Um, so check you guys next time. Bye!